Welcome to Vlogmas Decluttering Roulette on Jamie Chaotic, where every day from December 1st to 24th, I will be decluttering one quick problem area in my house, drawn at random from a fishbowl. Because tis the season to decorate, host parties with friends and family, and be otherwise drowning in the stress, mess, and chaos of the holiday season. I hope the videos of me getting my shit together can provide you with some decluttering motivation and a few moments of relaxation during these trying times. Thanks for watching. Now on to today's mess. Hi, welcome. I am going to preface today's random drawing by saying I am freaking sick right now. So please do not judge what I've got going on. There's a lot of very made up, put together, beautiful fakeness on the internet. And I'm taking it upon myself today to counter that with a, a dose of realness. So that's what you get with me. You get the wet hair. You're lucky I took a shower, but that was more to just wake me up and make me feel more like a human since I've been wallowing in sickness for a couple days. You get the stuffy nose. There might be some crusties in there, not sure and just an overall uh, look of malaise. And that's just me doing my duty to bring real life to the internet. Forget all those beautiful women, what the fuck, who have a full face of makeup on by 6.30 a.m., who pack gourmet meals for their children for their school lunch every day. My kids get the state provided free lunch. And I am going to go ahead and do this decluttering, mustering all the energy that I can to get at least one spot done today. I also want to say I am not doing these every single day, if that makes sense. You're seeing them every day, but like it's not even December 1st yet when I'm filming this. It's Thanksgiving weekend still. I'm pre-filming these, doing as many as I can per day and then releasing them one day at a time. I hope you don't mind. I thought that was kind of obvious and implied, but I feel like I should state it as well because yes, these are short little declutterings and you prob I probably could do one every single day, but I have to edit the video. And that takes a little bit of time. It really does. So I wanted to have some backlogged before I started actually releasing them. That way I'm, I'm ahead of the game. So, Without further ado, I'm gonna pull a spot. I had to miss our Thanksgiving yesterday. Today's Black Friday. I'm at home cleaning my house. I am not shopping, which is a good thing. If this is a really difficult location and I don't have the energy for it, I hope you don't get upset with me if I put it back in and draw something else. Because I can feel myself already wanting to do that if it's like something intense, just because I'm so freaking exhausted like i it's making me out of breath just sitting here talking to the camera so i hope you give me a, a mulligan if i have to do that oh i got two i got multiples ah i think i can do this I think I can do this. Okay, this is going to be a true decluttering, as in I'm gonna have to get a couple banker boxes and pull stuff out to sell. This is gonna be a true taking things away to sell them decluttering mission. Barware cabinet under Hinaro. So let me show you what Hinaro is. This will be good. I can do this, I can manage this today. It's not a lot of heavy lifting. This is the Hinaro. As you can see, there's a signature. It is mid-century Mexican tile artist. And this is my most beloved piece of artwork or really anything in the whole house. I absolutely adore this piece of art. I got it at an estate sale. Oh, hi, Max. Are you watching me, you creepy little thing? Oh, I love you so much. I got this at an estate sale locally, actually just down the street from me. It's a very beautiful piece of mid-century artwork. And I love it. And Blake loves it. It's probably like the thing you'd grab in a fire. <laughs> That's how much we love it. But what I'm decluttering today is this cabinet that's underneath. Back up a little bit so you get the whole scope of the situation here. This is a little barware collection. And I have decided I do not want all of it. I want to pare down to just a more honed in collection rather than every single random little orphan glass that I can find. And like I have... 
some glass sets in here where I have very many multiples of the same pattern and I want to sell some of them. Anything that's in here that I don't want to keep, I'm going to end up selling it in my um, online store. So let's get some banker boxes and just pull out the stuff that... I no longer want to hold on to. And it's not a matter of the of me not liking this stuff anymore. It's just, I have too much. It needs to fit in the space that I have allotted for it. And as a matter of fact, I actually want to empty this whole thing out because we have decided to put something else here to house the children's, that means I need to clean the top off too, to house the children's video game consoles because we're moving them down here. They're in their bedroom right now and we've decided it would be better if they're in the public space of the house because then they won't be able to use them as much. You know what I mean? They still have their little handheld Nintendos and stuff. But as far as like the Xbox and that kind of thing, we want to put it on a cabinet right here. And I think we're actually going to, this is already way more talkative than you were probably signing up for today. I think we're gonna actually use this for now anyway. It's something we have. Once I clean this completely out, empty out all those drawers, that's where they can keep all their video games and the little controllers and all the crap that goes along with the video game consoles. I could fix this up too, if I really wanted to put some effort into it. I had originally got this to paint it. It's raw wood. It's from Ikea. The whole point, you buy these to paint them and I just never did. So will I ever? That's the question. But we're gonna move that once it's empty over here. And I think we're actually going to sell or get rid of or donate whatever this piece. Do I love the way that this all looks? Yes. But is it functional for our family? No. Do I need all of that barware? No. Do I want to minimize the amount of collections that I have? Yes. Do I want to sell more things and make more money? Yes. So that's where we are. And I'm okay with it. I'm completely at peace with it. I don't need to be a collector of so many things. I've decided I would rather be the saver of the things. I like saving the vintage. I like rescuing it from places. I like finding it. I like the shopping, going to the estate sales. And I like selling it. I like the act of selling it. I like shipping. I love my job. The problem is I, I acquire this stuff and I'm like, oh, I love this so much. I'm going to actually keep this thing, all of these things, all of, all of the stuff that's in here. I'm okay. I'm at a much better place now of being the in-between. I'm the middleman. I'm okay with it coming here temporarily. I'm enjoying it from the moment I get it until the moment it leaves the door. I am enjoying it. I don't need to keep it forever. That's where I'm at. I would rather have a few special forever pieces like this artwork and like this vase right here, my Batosi vase that we got as an anniversary gift to each other. I'd rather have a few really, really special pieces that are like heirloom quality pieces rather than a million mid-century glasses. Do I love the glasses? Yes. Am I going to keep some of them? Yes. Do I need that many? No. All that being said, and, I, and I'm mostly saying this for the viewers of my other channel, Mid-Century Wasted, my business channel, because I don't want you thinking like, oh God, Jamie's gone minimalist. She's getting rid of everything. She's even paring down her own collection. What's going on? I'm fine. I'm not dying. I mean, I might be. We all are, really. Let's not get dark. Um, everything's fine. I just don't have the space in my house or in my brain or in my visual eyeballs for all of this stuff anymore. So I'll sell it. It's great. It's fine. It's wonderful, really. I'll make money on it. That's the whole point. I'll turn those glasses into a trip to the zoo for my kids or something like that. That's amazing. That's why I do this. So, oh my God, stop talking. I've been devoid of human interaction for the last day. So you are my interaction. All right, goodbye. I mean, not goodbye. Ugh, I should have taken some cold medicine before I did this. This is precisely why I haven't gotten rid of all these banker boxes yet. I knew this would happen and I would need them again anyway. Anything I don't want, I will put in here. Anything I need to relocate, I will put right there. All right, I feel like I should start with the top. 
because I do actually need to clear off the top. Let's get this completely ready to be moved because then whenever I draw the card or the ticket or the paper for the other thing, this will be ready to just move it on out. Plus then I can take pictures of it. Okay, I can get rid of those. I'm keeping this. This is gonna take up the whole space. I'm keeping this. Oh, Sasha. I don't have another place to put this just yet, but I do love it. Bought it on eBay. I didn't even find it. Like I sought it out. I'm gonna save it for now, but if I don't find a home for it, once I redo that other cabinet where all this stuff is going, then I will get rid of it at that point. I will sell it. And then these go upstairs into our library or maybe Blake will want them on his desk. Okay. Well, that was easy, but I need to clear, I need to wipe that off. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to function if that's all dusty this whole time. Yuck, I got this side. Oh, can I start with that side? No, nope, I gotta start with the other side. Okay. Sell, sell, sell. I don't need shot glasses. I really don't. I don't need any shot glasses. Well, actually, that's not true. I need at least one. I don't need lots of shot glasses. These I'm going to keep. Those are keepers. These are all... I don't need these. These are actual travel shot glasses from my travels. I do like some of these, but does that mean I need to keep them? These ones. Oh my god, I can't squat. We have to go all the way down to the ground here for this one. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I have matches to any of those. It's not something I want to sort through right now, so I'm gonna put them all in the donate. Why do I keep calling it donate? It's not donate, it's sell. They're all in the cell. Everything. Sell everything. I think I want to keep those. I really like the National Park ones very much. I very much like the National Park ones. I would like to find the rest of them. That would be, if I could find the rest of the National Park ones, I'd get rid of all the other ones. And just have those. I think I can sell these. Don't have an attachment to those. I can sell all of these. I can sell those. I can sell this. Do I want orphans? I don't think I do. I can sell these. I can sell this and I can sell this. I can sell these because I have a whole set in the other room. That's the other thing is this is not all the barware I have. It's just all the barware that's in here. This whole set, this whole set is not vintage, so yikes. I'm not going to actually keep it in the same box. Oh, this is so cool. Hmm. I can sell this one for sure. I'm sell that one. Definitely keeping my super rare nudie glasses. Oh, I need a break. I need a break. So this set. I can sell this one. It's just a single. So yeah, these are all orphans. I guess I'm not doing orphans. I love a good glass, orphan glass collection, but I guess it's just, it's not me. It's not for me. Okay. 9, 10, 11, 10. 9, 10, 11, 10. Max, are you trying to kill me? My heart. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. Maxwell. This is another reason why I don't want to keep glass right here. This is Maxwell's drop zone. Okay, go. Psycho cat. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 of these. I've decided I'm gonna keep eight. I'm gonna keep the eight best ones because I have a cradle to put them in. 
Eight. So let's keep eight of these as well. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. I gotta stand up. Ugh. Ugh. Break. I need a break. Okay. Keepers. Go in there. Purple is so good. Well, that was pretty easy as well. So I'll sell this one and I'll keep those. It's much more reasonable to keep a set of eight. And the reason being, a lot of them came with these little cradle carrier things. So I have this one. I'm gonna use it for these glasses. Since there's gold, gold in these. Now, do they fit perfect? No. They like would slide around in there. They're not meant for this rack, but for display purposes, it'll look really nice in my cabinet. All nice and orderly. Then I'll get a silver one. I might even have a silver one in my hoard somewhere. I probably do. And I'll put those ones in a silver caddy. And then that limits the amount that I can have. And I'm a hundred million percent perfectly wonderfully okay with this. In fact, I'm really happy with it. So keep keep get rid of and that's like stacked packed in there too those over there are also get rid of those are keep so i'd say a third i probably got rid of more than a third glasses wise like if you actually counted them up well i don't know i bet i got rid of probably half the glasses it's just these are bulky things those pots those planters in there so i probably got rid of half the glasses easily yay go me but now i need to put these somewhere because they can't just sit here so this one will go in the office since i'm selling all this oh this is gonna clank around a lot oh that's clanky this i'm gonna bring over here this i'm gonna bring over here this will go on facebook there we go. It's completely empty, all done. Now I can take pictures of it and list it if I want to. I'm gonna ask Blake what he feels like we should do. I'm so tired and sick lately. I feel like I'd be fine just taking it to the thrift store, just donating it. It's pretty scuffed up on the top. The person we had bought it from had painted it black around the edges and it's chipping off on the top. So it's not in great condition anyway. It's not something that I care about or I'm sentimental about in any way. And we don't need it anymore. Yay! Big accomplishment today. I was going to end the video there, but then I decided to make room in my Pyrex cabinet for all of the stuff I decided to keep. So I'm going to weed out some of my Pyrex as well. Are we doing a little chain reaction? Oh my God, am I really doing this right now? I don't need to do the whole thing. I could just do the obvious ones. It's not painful. This isn't painful. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. We're going to take out some Pyrex. This is money. This is what I need. This is all cold, hard cash sitting here. And I don't need it. I don't need these. I don't display them. I don't use them. I love them and I think they're so pretty, but I can just be the facilitator for finding the people who want to display these in their homes. I'm fine. Ooh, the white set. It's fine. I don't need the mushrooms. Whoa, damn girl. These I'm totally fine with selling. See, some of these are super easy. That's super easy. It ain't nothing. This down here, I can sell this one. I can sell my dots. I don't care. Everything's fine. I think I'm gonna keep the Halloween one. I do like me my promos. That might be enough space for now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get the barware in there first. Let's see, how many times can I say let's see? Uh, 
this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be wonderful. There's nothing to be upset about right now. Everything is awesome. Don't forget to film it. Don't forget to film it. Everything is content. Everything is content. Alright, this one's done. This one, hmm. It's gonna go upstairs. Okay, so all that's left are these two. And I think the smartest thing, because I'm exhausted and now I have a whole bunch of stuff to list on Facebook Marketplace, the smartest thing for now is to just put them back where they were. Once we get rid of that cabinet, Maybe I will find more space for these in there. Um, I'm so out of breath, you guys. This is, I'm not like, I mean, I am out of shape, but I'm not that out of shape. It's because I'm sick. My lung capacity is low. I'm just gonna put these back where they were. They're not gonna be there forever, but I don't have any good place to put them for now um, or yet. This is gonna get decluttered severely. And so is the rest of this. You saw I just pulled out a bunch of Pyrex to sell. There's a lot more in here. So uh, I'm guessing between the two spots, those are going to go down somewhere between a third and half, somewhere around there, at least a third, definitely a third. I think it's going to be closer to half, 50% minimized on, on my collections here, especially when you count what's in the lower half of this cupboard, like most of that is going. So, okay, I'm going to put these back and then I'm going to actually list the Pyrex right now. I know that a listing session is in the bowl, but there's more. I'm just going to list the Pyrex I just pulled out because I don't want to contribute to more mess as I'm doing these declutters. So any mess I make during one of these declutters, I have to see it through to completion. <laughs> so since I'm selling all those on Facebook Marketplace, or I'm planning to, I'll list them now. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven things. So it shouldn't take me too long. So let's put these back. Besides, I want to put a poinsettia in this like I do every year. So that's where we left off. I emptied out this entire cabinet. It's ready for the rearrangement that we're going to be doing. This took a really long time. Some of these declutters are going to be longer than others, that's for sure. And this was a big one. But I accomplished everything I needed to. And I found spots for all the stuff I wanted to keep. So ultimately, I accomplished my goal. Yes, I still need to list that stuff on Facebook Marketplace. But hopefully after I'm done being sick, I'll get a good burst of energy and be able to finish that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe because I I'm posting these videos every single day for Vlogmas and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.